darkness enveloped the old, dilapidated mansion, illuminated only by the pale light of the moon. On a sunny day, a family car pulled up in front of the mansion. Out stepped the Whitmore family, David, Lila, Clara, and young Max. Look at this place. It's perfect for our new start, David exclaimed, his eyes scanning the grandeur of the manor. Lila shivered slightly. It does have a certain charm, but it feels cold. Clara, ever the optimist, chimed in. It's just an old house. Plus, it's huge. Think of all the adventures Max and I can have. Max's eyes sparkled with excitement. I saw a swing in the backyard. As night fell, strange occurrences began. Max approached Lila with a puzzled look. Mom, why did you close my bedroom door? I didn't, sweetie, Lila replied, her brow furrowing in confusion. Later, Clara heard soft whispers coming from the hallway. Holding a candle, she ventured out. Who's there? She called out, her voice echoing slightly. The whispers grew louder, but remained unintelligible. She followed the sound to the library. Suddenly, a book fell off a shelf. Clara picked it up, her fingers tracing the title. The History of Elmridge Manor. The next morning, Clara shared her experience over breakfast. I think this house is haunted. David chuckled. Nonsense. It's just settling noises. Lila interjected. But Max's door... Drafts, Lila. This is an old house, David reasoned. That evening, as a storm rigged outside, the family gathered in the living room. Suddenly, the lights flickered and went out. Clara, stop trying to scare me. Max cried out. It wasn't me. Clara protested. From the darkness, a soft voice began to sing a haunting lullaby. The family clung to each other in fear. The next day, David discovered a hidden room in the basement. Inside were old portraits of a family eerily similar to the Whitmores. As he looked closer, he realized the names written on the back. David, Lila, Clara, Max. The family decided to research the history of the manor. They discovered that every a hundred years, a family moved in and was never seen again. We need to leave, Lila whispered, her voice trembling. David sighed. And go where? We've invested everything in this place. That night, the hauntings intensified. Shadows danced on the walls, and the lullaby grew louder. We're not alone here, Clara murmured, her eyes darting around the room. Max, clutching a teddy bear, nodded. They want to play with us. Determined to confront the spirits, the family gathered in the library. David took a deep breath. We mean you no harm. Please, let us live in peace. A gust of wind blew through the room, extinguishing the candles. When the lights returned, standing before them were the ghostly figures of their doppelgangers. You cannot escape your fate, the ghostly figure resembling David whispered. Desperate, the family sought the help of a local medium named Madame Elara. She conducted a seance room grew cold, and the table began to shake. They're here, Madame Elara announced. Through Madame Elara, the spirits communicated. We are trapped. Save us. How? Lila implored. Find the heart of the house. Set us free! The spirit responded. The family searched the manor, finally discovering a hidden chamber beneath the library. Inside was a crystal pulsating with energy. This must be it, David murmured. As they approached, the spirits materialized, blocking their path. You cannot break the cycle. We are bound to this place, the ghostly figure resembling Max declared. Max stepped forward, determination in his eyes. But we can help you. Let's break it together. The two families joined hands, channeling their energy into the crystal. A blinding light filled the room and the ground shook. The cycle was broken, the spirits were freed, and the Whitmores were left in peace. A year later, the family hosted a community event at the manor. Lila looked around with a smile. 
Who would have thought? Elmridge Manor, the heart of the community. David nodded. All thanks to our ancestors. <laughs>